All right, next up is question six. It says a thin metal plate occupies the region R in the first quadrant bounded by y equals x and y equals x squared. The mass density delta measured in kilograms per square meter at the point xy is given by delta xy is 1 plus x times y. Part A says to find the total mass of the plate m, which is the double integral of our density function over the region r. Okay, so in question two, we argued why integrating such a density function would give us the total mass, right? Because density times this little differential area is going to give us right, that little differential mass, right, the amount of mass occupied by that differential rectangle, and then you sum those up over your region, and that's going to give you the total mass. Okay, so the main difference now is that our region we're integrating over is not a rectangle. Okay, so we have some choice here. It doesn't specify the order of integration, so we could think about stacking vertical strips or horizontal strips. And really, either one would, would work out pretty nicely for this problem. But since uh, these equations are presented as y equals something, I'm going to go ahead and use vertical strips. So think about first, I'll fix an x. And then I'm going to let y vary from the low end of x squared to the high end of x. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set up our double integral. And so for the order of integration here, well, since I'm going to fix x first and let y vary, this is going to be a dy dx integral. And so here we'll let y vary from the low end of x squared to the high end of x. And then for x, well, we're stacking these vertical strips from uh, a low end for x at 0 and then a high end for x at 1 since uh, these two curves intersect at the point 1, 1. Okay, so x then varies from 0 to 1. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and compute this integral. So we're going to integrate from 0 to 1 to the outer integral. The integral is a, is a y integral, so x is held constant. So that's going to give us y plus xy squared over 2. And then we're evaluating from x squared up to x. And then here, go ahead and plug in uh, x in for y, so we're going to get x plus, and this is going to give us an x times x squared, so that would be an x cubed over 2. And then subtract from that, well, what you get when you plug in x squared for y, so that's going to give you an x squared plus an x times x squared squared, so that would be x to the fifth over 2. Okay, and then we have our dx. And this doesn't actually simplify at all, and that's okay. We'll go ahead and integrate, and we'll get x squared over 2 plus x to the fourth over 8, and then we'll get a minus x cubed over 3, and then finally an x to the uh, sixth over 12. And we're evaluating that expression from 0 to 1. So this just becomes a big fraction problem. It's a half plus an eighth minus a third minus a twelfth. And then when we uh, evaluate at 0, we're just going to get 0. So if you combine all of that, the common denominator there, I guess, is 24. It looks like we'll get 524. Okay. Now, as far as the units are concerned, well, since the density is in kilograms per square meter, and dA will have units of, of square meters, this product will have units of kilograms, and then summing those up will give you something in kilograms. And that, of course, makes sense because, as the problem says, right, this is the total mass of the plate, right?
All right, cool. So then for part B, it's asking us for the average density of the plate. Okay, we also did something like this in problem two. And for that, we just want the uh, double integral, and then we'll divide that by the area of our region. Okay, so now we know the value of the double integral is 524, so that part is already covered. Question now is, well, what's the area of this region? And since this is not just a simple rectangle, we actually do have to do a bit of work here. Okay, so the area of R, this is the area bounded by this line and this parabola. So let me go ahead and compute that using an integral. This is really just like a, a, a Calc 2 question. So top curve minus bottom curve, right? So it'd be x minus x squared as we let x go from 0 to 1. So that'd be x squared over 2 minus x to the third over 3 from 0 to 1. And that's going to give us a half minus a third, which is equal to 1 sixth. Okay, so that's just the area portion of it. So then when I take its reciprocal, I'm going to get a 6. And then these are being multiplied. And so when all is said and done, what do we get? Well, the 6 over 24, that's a quarter, so we get 5 fourths. And the units there would just have the same units as delta itself. So we're just finding the average density. So it'd be kilograms per square meter. All right, that is going to do it for this question. Thanks.